the middle. Okay. All right. All right. Chief, you want to come on over here, please? Look out that direction. Okay, good afternoon. I'm Joe Montoya, Division Chief Investigations, Denver Police. Uh, I'm going to give you kind of a chronological breakdown of what happened here, uh, what we're investigating. At a uh, little before 11 o'clock, we got a call here, a dispatch call of a uh, nature unknown. At shortly after 11 o'clock, officers arrived on scene. They found three uh, what appears to be adult parties deceased, two males, one female. Uh, the deaths are suspicious in nature and are currently being investigated as homicides. Uh, we do not have a suspect at this time. We're asking for the community's help with that. If they could call 720-913-STOP, S-T-O-P. If you have any information, you thought anything suspicious in and around this area, uh, from late last night up until 11 o'clock this morning, we would appreciate your help. Uh, we are stepping up all of our security measures, not only in this area, but we are going to be doing outreach with our community partners, uh, with the transit community, uh, touching base with them, trying to get them resources and uh, help them uh, find uh, uh, safer places to stay. We are also aware that earlier this morning at uh, approximately 4.36 in the morning, we got a call of a party that had been stabbed. He was uh, on the... Um, West, west of here, about 500 feet west on Santa Fe near I-25. A uh, party called in, saw, uh, saw the male down, he had been injured, officers arrived. He was transported by ambulance and is currently in critical condition due to the stab wounds. We have made an arrest in that case. Uh, the suspect is the name Kyle Cuff, K-Y-L-E-C-U-F-F-E, -F -F -E, date of birth 4-22-98. We are not going to be releasing any um, mug shot on him, and we ask that if you are able to obtain any pictures of him on your own, that you do not uh, release him at this time. Uh, we are obviously going to be uh, investigating to determine whether or not there's any connection between that incident and what happened here uh, overnight. So uh, with that being stated, I'd like to open it up for any questions right now. Yeah. Okay. It's uh, it's all part of the open investigation. Right? I'd say by uh, all the evidence and appearance that it would appear that they 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 are homeless. When you said that the deaths were suspicious in nature, can you elaborate on that? I really can't at this point. Do you know the cause of death? I can't. I can't elaborate. And actually, they're still in the process of. A processing it. They're getting search warrants now, everything they need to process the scene. So I, I really can't speak to that. I'm not sure we know yet. Search warrants from this property, is it? Yeah, but it's, it's all part of the process for the, the criminal investigation. Do you know how long the bodies have been there before police arrived? We do not. The bodies were found in those bushes? Is that uh, just on the other side of this building, yes. Is there a connection to the stabbing or to the, uh, the attack on Santa Fe this morning? That's what we're trying to establish, and that's why we're, we're guarding the, uh, the picture of the suspect in that incident, because we do not know there's a connection. It's, it's going to be explored for sure, so I can't, I can't speak to that right now. Have you reached victims' families? Are they local? Uh, we're working. We're, that's in progress right now. We're trying to identify them, and, and obviously we will try to reach out to families as soon as we get that information. Okay, but you have not yet? Uh, not that I'm aware of, no. It's too early to tell right now. How were they discovered? Uh, a passerby, I believe, called it in. Uh, it was a dispatch call from a citizen. So obviously, uh, we, we've talked to that citizen. I do not believe uh, this person witnessed the crime. They just saw the bodies and, and called in. Is that area known for like, homeless or... It's like here, speak up. I'm not, I can't speak to that specifically because I really don't have the knowledge. I would say that I know along this corridor it, there is more population of transient community. I don't have that information to give you any factual uh, answer to that. Are there additional threats to the community? Should people be aware of? There are not, not any specific threats to the community that we're aware of. 
like I stated, we're going to be stepping up security measures, not only within the transit community, but specifically around this RTD structure. There's going to be a high level of visibility and security. Uh, I, I can't tell. We, we do not have enough information. We do have an address on him, which would determine that he does have a physical address, but we don't know right now. Well, open open air uh, scenes are difficult because there could be evidence scattered in various areas. So they're taking their time uh, scouring the area and uh, just to determine if there's anything left, if a potential weapon was left behind, any sort of uh, physical evidence, uh, DNA type evidence left behind. That's all very important. So they really have to be meticulous and take their time processing an outdoor scene. Let's go here. What time was the call arrested? Uh, well, the call came in at. 436 in the morning I think it was probably in close proximity to that that he was arrested uh, he, was nearby. he was nearby I think he was actually contacted somewhere uh, near the RTD because RTD security I think was involved in the contact of a witness and uh, identification of the suspect Did you find a weapon in the I I am not aware if they did or not I'm, I'm sorry I don't have that information are there cameras in this area uh, we are now searching for cameras. We, we are hope, uh, hopeful that there are. I believe RTD uh, might have a camera that's beneficial to us. So we're, we're uh, trying to lock down all video evidence that might, we might have in the area at this time. And Chief, what makes you think they're homeless? Just uh, probably the, the living conditions uh, in which they're, they're living in would lead us to believe that they are transient at this time. I know it's early in the investigation, but is there a concern that this suspect may have been targeting it's too early to tell right now. This is an isolated incident. We are not aware of any other incidents other than what happened here and then potentially earlier this morning, but we have not connected those two yet, so it's too early to tell whether it's going gonna, it's gonna to reoccur. I'm sorry if you already answered this. These are stabbing victims? We do not know yet. We, we haven't processed the bodies to see what the actual, um, what, other, what, what the condition of the body is, and obviously the, the coroner is going to be the, the one that gives us the information on the, ex, the exact cause of death. I do not believe that it is. I don't know enough about the area. I, I think it's separated by some train tracks, and uh, I really I can't give you an honest uh, answer to that. I, I don't have enough knowledge of that area. That I could not speak to uh, at all. Um, I'm not sure on the on the victim. I don't know enough about his living conditions or anything about him yet to determine whether or not he was transient. The suspect. The suspect. Yes. Have any weapons been found? Not that I'm aware of. Have the body's been removed from the scene. Not yet. All right, guys. I think we're going to wrap it up. Thank I, you. I, I have a question. One last one. Go. Okay, so, Chief Bazaar here. here. Uh, interesting to see you here. What's your message to the community? something like this happens. I mean, you show up in something like this and you say, the Chief's here. I'm wondering what your thoughts are when you see this sort of uh, our message is that uh, our team takes these serious and, and we want to make sure that uh, all people in Denver, our most vulnerable uh, community members, that they're treated with the respect and dignity and that the investigation is just as thorough for them as it would be for anybody else in this city. So thank, thank you very much.